My first significant result allows the user to haptically feel primitive augmented objects such as cones or cubes. The blue cone moving around the shape is called the proxy. It represents the haptic arm stylus and effector in the virtual environment. The interaction here is still unidirectional. Moving the marker towards the proxy causes forces to be sent into the device, hence the latter moves by itself and the user can feel the object. Conversely, there is still no way to move the shape out of its original location on the coded target. This one-way interaction is particularly obvious in the following multi-target configuration. I cannot move the cube which is static on its marker. However, we can see that the haptic arm moves when I push the marker towards the proxy. Now, let's try to render nicer objects, more appealing than cones and cubes. Complex 3D models are usually created using applications like 3D Studio Max, which is currently on the screen. I implemented a module to my solution in order to easily import 3D Studio Max objects into an augmented environment without any prior conversion. Then we can see, feel, and animate any 3D model.